I've been hearing a lot of complaints about uh, from students about uh, Khan Academy. So here is arithmetic sequences one. Now, of course, never mind the fact that you should have mastered all these skills by um, tonight. Okay, so if you still haven't practiced it, I still want you to practice it because ultimately you have until the end of the semester. So your grades are always changing, okay? So as long as you work on it, you're going to be fine. So let's take a look at arithmetic sequences one, okay? It says the first four terms of an arithmetic sequence are given, and we have negative six, negative two, positive two, six, dot, 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 right? So you can see a pattern right here, okay? So then what is the pattern that you see here? What are you adding by? Yes. So the pattern I see is it goes up by four every time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're adding four every single time. So it says what is the fifth term? What is the fifth term in this sequence, right? So this is number one, two, three, four. So what's the next number that you have to come up with? Yes. The fifth term is going to be ten. Yeah, because six plus four is ten, right? So that's it. Was that too easy or what? Oh my goodness, they gave me, they gave me credit already, so I can't show you another one. Let me. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do arithmetic sequences too, because I'm not done with that one yet. Okay, so it says over here the arithmetic sequence a sub i is defined by the formula so and so, and what is a sub fifteen, the fifteenth term in the sequence? Okay, so. The one thing that the students are having a difficult time with over here in arithmetic sequences too is the terms, okay? So when you look at A sub I, do you know what that means? No. The A sub I actually means, of course I can't write on my screen, right? So A sub I basically means the formula F of X. Instead of saying F of X, they have A of A sub I, okay? So there you go over here when you see a sub i, that means f of x is equal to 5 minus 3. And then what is i? x. x minus 1. So this is an explicit formula, okay? And then it says, what is a sub 15? What that means is, what is the 15th term, the number, the 15th number? Which is the same as f of 15. Okay, it's just a different way of expressing the terms, okay? So what that means is, what is the 15th number? So in order for you to solve this, what do you think you have to do? Can somebody tell me? It's okay, be brave. Tell me, yes. Yay, okay, yes. You are absolutely right. Yes, high five her, thank you. So you have to plug in the 15 into the I. Okay, so there you go. 15 minus 1 over here is 14. 14 times negative 3, then of course you want to go into your calculator, right? But don't do that. Well, you could, but I won't, okay? So that's going to be negative 42. And then 5 minus 42 is going to be negative 37. Am I right? I hope I am. If I'm not, I'm going to get it wrong. Yay, I got it right. You see that? Negative 37. Huh? I just plug in the 15 instead of the I. And then what you got to do is some students get this wrong, okay? You got to go, you got to first do the parentheses first. So you got to do 15 minus 1 first, okay? You got to do the 15 minus 1 first. This is sad because I can't write anything anywhere over here in the screen. So 15 minus 1 is 14, and then I got to multiply the negative 3. That's the next step. Some people are just getting it wrong for no reason because they don't know how to do PEMDAS. Parentheses and then multiplication, and then you add the 5. Okay? All right, so let's move on to the next question. This is, oh my goodness. Okay, so they gave me credit for arithmetic sequences too. Okay? Which part do you not understand? I don't understand what you don't understand. Okay, let me try arithmetic sequences two again. Yeah, this is what is a sub 16. So you plug in 16 into the i and you calculate it. 16 minus one is, first you do the parentheses. 16 minus one is 15. 15 times four, and then you do multiplication. 15 times four is 60 minus 10 is 50. There you go. Get it? Okay, so now from here, if you still don't get it, I don't know how to help you, okay? Okay, so then watch the video again, right? So let's go to geometric. 
Geometric sequence is one. This is another one. Let's pay attention. The first three terms of a geometric sequence are given. What is the fourth term? Geometric, you already know, means you got to multiply by the same number every single time. So what did you have to multiply to negative 8 to get to negative 6? No, negative 8 times 2 is ne uh, negative 16, not negative 6. Right? Okay, so what? when you are not sure, and they already told you that this is a geometric sequence, in order to find out what number you are multiplying every single time, all you have to do is go back number divided by the front number. Okay? By definition, geometric sequence just means you multiply by the same number each time. But over here, how would you figure out what number to multiply every single time? When they tell you straight up that this is a geometric sequence, all you gotta do is just go back number, which is negative six, divided by front number, which is negative eight. Okay? So then, if you don't know how to do it, who cares, right? You're just gonna go use your calculator. So I don't know if you have this calculator, numerics. If you don't, maybe you should download it, okay? So if I look at the back number, what was it? Ready? Go. Ne negative six. So I'm going to put negative six, right? And then I'm going to divide it by the front number. What was the front number? Negative eight. So I put that. And what do, you got? What do I get? 0.75. So that means I'm multiplying 0.75 to every single number, okay? 0.75, by the way, in fraction form is 3 over 4. So negative 6 times 3 over 4 is negative 9 over 2. Okay? Now from here, you got to multiply negative, oh my goodness, it doesn't show here, but let me see if later on it will show. Negative 9 over 2 times 3 over 4. Okay, of course it doesn't show right now, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you what the answer is. It's going to be negative 27 over 8. Okay? So you put negative 27 and then this bar over here and then 8. Okay? So let's see if I got the answer right. Now it shows. Okay? Yes, it is. Right? So whenever you don't know which number you got to multiply to the next number, all you have to do is back number divided by the front number. Okay? And we're going to be good. Thumbs up if you kind of sort of get it now. All right. So then, now I'm not going to do any more geometric sequences one. Let's do geometric sequence two. Okay. All right. So again, a sub one is the same as what? F of x, okay? So as far as the terms that we have been using, a sub one is the same as f of x. Okay, so this is an explicit formula. F of x, a sub 1 is the same as f of x, is equal to negative 12 times negative 1 over 4 raised to the power of x minus 1. Okay? Alright, so then it says what is a for? That means what is your answer when you have f of 4? So all you have to do is plug in the 4 instead of the i right here. Okay, so what's 4 minus 1? Do that first. 3. And then you're going to do PEMDAS, right? So exponents first. Negative 1 fourth raised to the third power. you got to multiply negative 1 over 4 three times. What do you get when you do that? It's negative 1 over 64, okay? Just this part over here is negative 1 over 64, and yes, I know that you can't see. I'm like writing it, but I can't see either. But yeah, and then once you get negative 1 over 64, you're going to multiply it with what? The negative 12, okay? So then when you multiply it with negative 12, it becomes negative 12 over 1. We do the dancey dance, blah, blah, blah. Since you can't see anything on screen, I know it means nothing to you. But let me just continue on anyways. You can divide top and bottom by 4. So your answer is 3 over 16. Okay, so yay, I got it right. And now my stuff shows up, right? Okay, thumbs up if you kind of sort of get it a little bit.
Okay, so basically arithmetic sequence and geometric sequence one just ask you to keep adding or keep multiplying. But geometric and arithmetic sequence two, they give you the formula and they tell you to plug in the number to get the answer. And you just have to know how to do PEMDAS. Okay, so can I move on? Are we done? Or is there any other thing that I have to still help you with? I think I don't have to help you with anything else. It's actually pretty simple, okay? But again, if you still need help, stay after school, okay? And I'm going to finish recording just this portion. And this was horrible anyway, because I couldn't write anything on my screen. I like my iPad recordings better, okay? All right, good job.